square root of 24 to the 4 plus 5 to the 8 plus 7 to the 8 all over 2 is 1. Okay, we consider the numerator a, so it will be square root of a over and a equal to 24 to the 4 plus 5 to the 8 plus 7 to the 8. Now I want to change powers to 4, so I can write 24 to the 4 plus, you know that for example, x to the m then equal to x to the m to the n by power rule. So I can write 5 to the 8 equal to 5 squared, 4, 7 to the 8, 7 squared, 4. So it will be 24 to the 4 plus 25 to the 4 plus, plus 7 squared is 49 to 4. What's the relationship between the bases? As you can see, 24 plus 25 is 49, so we can write it as 24 to the 4 plus 25 to the 4 plus 24 plus 25 to the 4. So this part will be 24 to the 4 plus 25 to the 4 plus 24 to the 4. Uh, this is a formula a plus b to the power of 4 is first one to the power of 4 plus 4 times first one cube times second one plus 6 times first one squared second one squared plus 4 times first one times second one cube plus second one to the power of 4. It was a. Now I want to find a over we have 24 to the 4, 24 to the 4, 2 times 24 to the 4 divided by 2 is 24 to the 4. 25 to the 4, 25 to the 4, 2 times that, divide by 2 is 25. Plus 4 times 24 cube, divide by 2, it will be 2 times 24 cube, times 25. Next one is 3 times 24 to the 4. Times 25 squared plus this 2 times 24 times 25. Now we can write it as 24 squared plus 25 squared plus 24 times 24 times so 24 squared plus 25 squared plus 24 times 25. If you see 24 squared, 24 squared, 24 to the 4, 25, 24 is 25 squared, 25 squared, 2 times 24 cubed times 25 is 24 squared, times this number, and this number times 24 squared. I've created this, this part is 24 squared, 25 squared, 25 squared, 24 squared, this number 24 times 24, 5 times this one, so it will be 3 times that. 2 times this number is 25 squared times this number, this number times 25 squared. I've created all of them. So a over 2 is this number squared. So I can write it as this number. 24 squared is what? 5, 7, 6. 25 squared is 6, 2, 5. 24 times 25 is... 25 times 25 is 6 to 5, minus 25 is 600. Yeah. Now, if we add 0 plus 5 plus 6 to 11, we have 1. 1 plus 0 plus 2, 3 plus 7, 10. We have 1 plus 6, 7 plus 6, 13. Plus 5, 18. Okay. The answer is this. If you have questions, send a message to my WhatsApp number. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks. Bye.